fresh curfew has been announced in the Ukrainian capital city of Kiev from Saturday evening until Monday morning. The statement uh, has been made by the mayor of Ukraine where uh, a curfew is now in place. In fact, it will start from uh, the evening of today uh, in Ukraine, in the capital city of Kiev, until uh, the morning of Sunday. Now, it's the second day of U.S. President Joe Biden's visit in Poland, the neighboring country of Ukraine. On the first day, Biden met with U.S. troops working under the NATO stationed in Poland. Today, he's scheduled to meet top Polish leaders and visit a refugee center in Warsaw. Biden's Poland trip comes days after he met in Brussels with NATO allies, G7 leaders as well as European Union leaders to discuss international efforts to support war-ravaged Ukraine. We're standing outside the presidential palace here in Poland's Warsaw, where a very, very crucial bilateral meeting is expected to take place between President Biden and the president of Poland, Andrzej Duda. And this particular bilateral meeting, of course, uh, comes at a very crucial time. It's been just about a month since the war between Ukraine and Russia began. A lot has been spoken by President Biden during his uh, you know, visit at Brussels. A lot of indications that he has given that somewhere he did indicate that, you know, the the war for, from Russia's end is being funded with the money that the European countries are paying for the gas and the petroleum that they are actually purchasing from Russia. So he's expected to make a statement as to how he could cut those funds to Russia. Apart from that, of course, he's going to be discussing how the West is going to really help in the refugee crisis, uh, you know, uh, of uh, the Ukrainians uh, who are leaving the country at this point in time. Meanwhile, let me show you what's exactly happening here, because, of course, uh, you have this high-level bilateral meet that's going to take place. Security arrangements, of course, being made. Uh, this entire place, of course, is being sanitized. A lot of police officers, military officials who are right now here. The area, of course, uh, is uh, slowly being barricaded. As of now, the movement of uh, the U.S. president, of course, uh, around uh, Poland and where he's going to stay and all these details is being uh, kept uh, heavily guarded because they do not want to, uh, you know, give out too many details of uh, where he would be staying, the people he would meet. Of course, the bilateral meeting is something that's on his agenda.